Hi right, fellow Cybermount divers, um, welcome to another edition of Gary's Tips. Um, <clears throat> over the years I have uh, spent a great deal of time just looking at the detail in which divers find a particular skill easy or not so easy and uh, there are often lots of things on the market that you can uh, adapt your harness to and uh, modify and nice bits of metal but at the end of the day I'm still using the same equipment that, that came straight out of the box and uh, here we have one of X-Deep's wings it's a redundant bladder system on the tech harness and uh, basically what we're going to look at is the, um, the D-ring on the shoulders and how often it can be lifted up and Sometimes when you've got uh, the less dexterity of having a dry suit, um, what we can do to, pre to prevent this kind of situation not being able to find it because it can literally induce a little bit of stress and that little bit of stress actually doesn't make the diver feel very good about things at the time. So um, how do we stop this from flicking up? So what we're going to do is just literally use a piece of bungee. Uh, this bungee is uh, three millimeters in diameter. Uh, anything more is a little bit too rigid. Uh, anything less might not do the job quite as well. So the diameter of the bungee is quite important. Uh, lengthwise, it's just uh, probably 25 centimeters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double this 25 centimeters over. Uh, so you've got about uh, 12 and a half, <laughs> if you want to be exact. All we do is you pass the loop of a bungee through the D-ring, bring it back around, creating basically a lark's foot. And you're going to pull it tight, very tight onto the end here. Okay. Then just pass the knot around. You can see here, you pass it around so that one side goes underneath the webbing and the other side goes over the top. So you've got both ends coming out the other way. And then all we're going to do is just try and uh, make another knot on the other end here. And me being me and trying to save a little bit of uh, bungee and not waste it, I've just taken one end of it so I can use as little as possible. Do a nice neat knot. And then you've got a little bit of excess there. So all we can do is just feed it and push it through the knot like so. Tighten both ends up, nice and secure. It doesn't have to be too tight, just tight enough to sit nicely and comfortably on the bungee. Tighten these ends up properly. And now what you've got <coughs> is a loop here going through, not on the end. You can trim the ends off here so it's nice and just melt the ends over. So that basically prevents the D-ring from lifting up. Okay, you can make it slack or as tight as you wish, but it, it can move up if it wants to, but it will flip back down again. Okay, if I wanted to make this a little bit tighter, based on how much uh, I've got to play with, I can do that. So one of the advantages about this is that um, we don't need to take the harness to bits. So you don't need to unthread anything through takes time, can be done quite easily easy, uh, but this just saves the need for doing it. Uh, I have used pieces of um, of uh, Snoopy Loop, um, or even the X-Deep ones that come with this, but obviously with things like rubber, it just degrades quite quickly, and you do, all you need is a little nick in the side, and then off it comes. And somewhere in the dive, you'll find, you can't find your D-ring, because it's flipped up again. So bungee tends to last uh, an awful lot longer and um, it's replaceable very easy, unlike the, uh, the, the loop system with the, um, with the little snoopy loops. That means you have to actually detach your webbing and pass it all the way through and you would normally just sit it just over the edge here. So that's uh, quite a nice neat way of doing it. You can do it on both sides and it makes sure that the whole of the D-ring is fully accessible. Okay, thank you for watching.